Hey guys, and you're back with me, Grace. And today I'm going to be doing a chatty spring makeup look. Um, and Stephanie Cooper actually asked me to do this video um quite a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, but a few days ago, and I totally forgot about it. So now I'm going to be doing it. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I've actually pinched a few of my sister's products because I wanted to do like a really nice makeup look and I just needed a few more products just to top my makeup off um, so I went into my sister's room I know I shouldn't have done it but I did I did it um, so I went ahead and got a few products um, that are my sister's shh don't tell literally like don't tell um, oh, my lip looks really red there. Um, so I'm going to start off with my makeup. Um, hopefully I will be using a few of my products as well in here. Um, let's get started. So this is my sister's, um, so sorry Amy and Abid, but if you're watching, oh, no. I don't think they are watching though. Um, so the first product I'm going to be using today is the number seven um beautifully matte foundation and this is what the product looks like i quite like the packaging actually and i love foundations with a pump because it's so much easier to squirt out i don't uh, joke in here i don't know if this will be dark enough for me because they are a bit light skin toned but anyway, the foundation brush I'm going to be using is this one. And it just says foundation on it. So, yeah, I love these brushes. They're so good. I think I have uh, mentioned something about these in my other video. So, let me put some on my brush. Uh, I love to do this technique because it's just good. And I see my sisters doing this quite a lot. So I'm just going to put a bit on my brush, oh, meaning as a bit, I mean a lot, so then you just want to spread it out onto your face, I don't know if you can actually see that, the lighting is terrible in my room at the minute, but you just want to like get it everywhere. And this is actually a yeah a matte foundation i don't really like the really shiny foundations because i think they are just you know a bit over the top sorry if you're one of those people who like really likes it My face looks white <laughs> but once i've blended it it should be okay because i will add more products over the top to make it a bit more darker so you just want to blend it all around your face and you can put it a bit under your chin so that it blends in more my face literally looks oh it's because it's not blended in properly sorry if i keep looking over here it's because i'm looking in my mirror to see if it's okay So that is the foundation and I think that is a nice foundation but I'd like it to be a bit more like I'd probably have to have a darker tone but I'm so sorry I'm so sorry guys that it's a bit pale but it'll have to do. As I said you can make your foundations darker by mixing it with other foundations I know it isn't very you know but yeah just checking it's blended in actually as I look in the mirror it actually looks really nice and really glowing so yeah mm. so that is my foundation all blended into my face as you can see so yeah <clears throat> Oh, I just need to put this bit in. 
Next, I'm going to be using, let's have a look. I'm going to be using some concealer. And the concealer I'm going to be using is the Super Stay. Ooh, Super Stay. Stay 24 and this is the Maybelline New York um so I'm gonna be using this I think this might be quite a nice colour on my face here <laughs> they just hate it when they get like hair and then I'm just going to be putting it all here so sorry if you can't really see that because it's sort of the same shade but you can see it in light let me turn my light off might be a bit of, no maybe not but anyway yeah and i'm going to be using this little tiny brush i know it's a bit small but i like to do this I just like to blend it a bit more with my fingers. That's all blended into my face, as you can tell. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to be using is that's what is this? This, I just found this, let's find this in here. Oh well, um, so yeah, the next thing I'm going to be using is this powder, and it is the number seven powder again. What else was number seven? Oh, this, oh, yes. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using this now. And as you open it up, it has this cute little thingy. And then it has little holes in here, you can see. And then you just tip it out onto your little applicator. And put it on your face, put it on your face. Where am I speaking with you? Oh, it smells like... Oh, you know, Milky Bar chocolate. It smells like that. <laughs> Milky Bar chocolate. It does. So that's my powder set it into my face. If you have me on Snapchat, I'll be posting a picture on Snapchat of my finished look. So if you would like to see that, go ahead onto Snapchat. Then now I am going to be using the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. And this is just a really nice sized contour palette. And the brush I'm going to be using is just actually the blush and contour brush. And there's three shades in here. I guess this is the highlighter and then you have a medium brown bronzer and a dark brown bronzer as you can see at the top it shows you what to do so with the light powder or highlighter you just basically put it down your nose across your cheeks And then on your chin. So that is the light powder. The medium brown, I am then going to put it across my forehead. Might need to blend that in a bit. Like mine. <laughs> I 
can also blend it a bit in with your fingers just to get it spread out. And then you're going to use the light brown across your nose again and across your cheeks. You need to make sure you blend this in very well because it will stay like my forehead. But the cheeks look so good like in proper lighting. Then I'm going to use a tiny bit of the dark brown just across my cheeks and the sides of my nose and my face looks good um, so after this you are going to then use out of my sleek makeup palette I am going to use the blusher just for a little bit of shimmer. Just on the apples of my cheeks. So that's the sleek palette done with. Then I am going to be using what shade do I need? So I have both dark blonde um, eyebrow pencils. Even though my eyebrows are pretty dark, I'm still going to use this just for a nice colour, a nice colour. So first I'm going to be using the actual and I'm just going to use it very lightly just to give it a really good effect. my eyebrows and then this end is like a really nice spongy end and that just fills in any gaps sorry if I'm not actually looking directly in the lens that is my eyebrows all done makeup all over me and then next I'm going to be using the stay perfect in number seven and it's the primer it's flawless finish all day wear so I'm only going to use like a tiny bit oh, wait. you just have to dab it on I think this is basically like so your makeup doesn't really come off and it stays on okay so then I'm gonna be using I know this isn't really a brand it's just Claire's but I'm just gonna be using this and that is my finished look well before I do my mascara I'm just going to be using this one that is my finished look I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today and bye